What's going on guys? It's your boy Triple G coming back with another Warpath video. Today guys, we're going to take a look at Percy and her allied buff and how it affects other units. So if you guys are interested, stay tuned to the video. The best way to explain it is for you guys to be able to see it. So right now I have my units that are around the attacking unit. It is not an army group, however they are my units. So what you're going to notice here, notice the gun symbol. The gun symbol is the 8% boost that happens when Percy's skill fires off. And on that lasts 8 seconds, which is just long enough for the officer damage to happen again. Once again, 8 seconds is the prep time for officers skill to fire back off so you could see that it clearly worked on my units up next we're going to use other people's units but in a army group so they are in an army group classified as my units however what you're going to notice now is, is because they are other people's units even though they're allied they don't have the gun symbol so to you guys who are wondering if using somebody else's units in an army group or your own alliance units that are near your unit if the buff applies to them the answer to that is no and why is this relative why are we even talking about this right now well a lot of you guys wanted to know about the new officer the new officer has pretty much a Percy-like buff in which in five map grids gives a 15% ground firepower buff. Now a lot of people were wanting to know like does that apply to everybody to your alliance members and stuff and the best way to test this is to know what's going on with Percy. Okay so if Percy does it then this officer must also act in the same way that Percy is so we can only assume that the buffs do not apply to other alliance members. If you guys like the video give it a thumbs up as usual. Appreciate you guys coming to the channel.